What's going on YouTube? GSNow right here. In today's video, we're going to discuss about some very, very important stuff in the world of iOS downgrading and iOS jailbreaking. I have some very, very interesting updates for you guys. And we're going to start with the downgrade thing that happened today. The day was a monumental day for iOS downgrading. Apple made a very, very big mistake that I have actually documented on my Twitter and on the channel in here on the community tab that my subscribers are able to see on their um, YouTube application when I post something. And 13 hours ago, I posted that Apple is signing iOS 10.3. And this really happened. iOS 10.3, iOS 10.2, uh, iOS 9, iOS 8, iOS 7, iOS 6 were signed for two hours. I have no idea why Apple made this huge mistake, but they really made it. Um, they really signed iOS 6, 7, 8, 9, and some versions of 10 for two hours for all devices that supported that. Um, unfortunately, two hours after that, they uh, fixed the bug, they fixed the issue, whatever was the case, and now we are back to the normal signing status. So if you go ahead in here on the iPhone 7 Plus in here or 7, you can still see that iOS 11.2.2, 11.2.1, and 11.2 are the only one signed. Well, 13 hours ago, iOS 10.2, iOS 10.3 were signed um, for devices that supported. There were iOS 9, 8, 7, which was definitely something you don't see every day. Now, it might have been a bug, it might have been a problem with the signing server, but it was really possible to downgrade. So, if you are subscribed to my channel and you have seen this um, posting here and you acted on time, you probably managed to downgrade your device to a jailbroken firmware from iOS 11.2, 11.2.1 and stuff like that. Well, as I said, now it's no longer the case, so I really hope you, you actually acted while it was the case. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and press the subscribe button to not miss such things next time because I'm going to keep you updated here in the community tab and it's going to notify you on your YouTube app. However, I still have some good news for those of you who have an iPhone 4S. Um, during this, uh, you know, thing with the signing and stuff like that, Apple signed a lot of iOS 6 versions and um, even after it ended, iPhone 4S still has an iOS 6 version that is signed. You can still see here that iOS 6.1.3 is signed alongside with iOS 9.3.5. This is incredible. This means that you are able to downgrade right now your iPhone 4S from iOS 9.3.5 to iOS 6.1.3 untethered, so with no blobs, with no problem. Now, for those of you who do not understand, while Apple has signed all those versions by mistake, you were able to downgrade even if you didn't have the blobs, because it was like having the firmware signed at that moment in time. So uh, this was a very monumental event in the Apple history. Now this has happened in, in the past but not to this scale. Uh, a lot of people managed to get their devices downgraded to jailbreakable firmwares or to even uh, iOS 9.x where you have untethered jailbreaks. So yeah, a very monumental event. Now if you want to go back to iOS 6.1.3, go ahead on your iPhone 4s, I would recommend you to do it right now since it's untethered and um, I'm pretty sure that Apple will fix this one. I have no idea why iOS 6.1.3 remained signed on the iPhone 4s after all that because it's not normal. iOS 9.3.5 should be the only version signed in here and iOS 6.1.3 hasn't been signed since 2013. So expect Apple to patch this one as well pretty quickly. Now it has stayed this way the whole night or whatever the whole day in some countries. So uh, this is probably going to last a little bit longer. If you you are seeing the video and you do have an iPhone 4s downgrade right now. What you need to do is to actually go ahead here on the IPSW.me, select the iPhone 4s, select 6.1.3, download the IPSW in here and restore it with iTunes and you will be able to activate it, you will be able to use it. I managed to downgrade my 4s. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. This is something that doesn't happen 
uh, every day, so it's very, very important in the Apple history. Let's move on to the jailbreaking news in here. Goblin might get a stable release finally um, after a lot of time, and uh, that might be either today, later today, or tomorrow, according to Sticktron, who is the developer behind this. You can see here it says public code base is frozen while I prepare the release candidate. This means that iOS 10.3.3, 10.3.2, 10.3, and 10.3.1 64-bit will be jailbroken, but not on the iPhone 7 or newer. So iPhone 6s, iPhone 5s, iPhone SE, 6, 6 Plus, 6s Plus, and so on. So um, that's pretty much a 64-bit jailbreak. You probably know it by now. I have already linked on my previous video a list of tweaks that work with Goblin and some of them that do not. I'm going to relink it in the description down below. So yeah, this is pretty much happening. I was 10. 3.3 jailbreak for 64 bit devices is finally here. A, you know, a jailbreak that works with Cydia. So, um, yeah, for those of you who, who told me that, um, um, you know, I made a mistake that I told you to stay on iOS 10.3.3 because an iOS 11 jailbreak appeared first. Well, I think now you can retract your words because, uh, you know, iOS 10.3.3 is jailbroken with Cydia, while iOS 11.x, unfortunately, is not jailbroken with a Cydia working. So, yeah, there is a jailbreak, there is a Liber iOS, there is Taupe Hangout, but none of them have Cydia working, so they're pretty useless for the moment while we're waiting for Soric to fix their stuff. So iOS 10.3.3 turned out to be a better version to stay on. You're welcome. Now, uh, speaking about iOS 11, guys, do not uh, lose your hope. We pretty much know now that Sorik is working on it, and he will be releasing a substrate fix or something that will pretty much make Cydia to work on iOS 11. So do not worry, it's just a little bit more time. Uh, in the meantime, please do not update to iOS 11.2, 0.2.1, 0 0.2.2. 0 .2. These are firmwares that do not have publicly available kernel exploits, which means that you will not be able to jailbreak for a very, very long time until a kernel exploit will be dropped, probably by Jan Beer, if I had to, to tell. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to stay updated. As you can see, I'm posting vital stuff on the community tab. And if you are subscribed, it will show up on your, um, on your YouTube application and you will be able to act quickly. As you could see, two hours made the difference between going back to an untethered jailbreak or staying to iOS 11.2.1 on jailbroken. So subscribe to stay updated. We'll keep you updated with anything that happens in the jailbreak community. Follow me on Twitter. I'm Geosnow. Peace out.